good morning children welcome to mela samaj online classes class 3 standard subject evs topic light and sound dear children what is light which is a natural satellite of our earth and where light falls from them and how light always travels how tra light travels and also how shadows are formed and how sounds are make us pleasant or unpleasant all this one we will learn in this lesson observe in your textbook children light observe in this uh, observe and answer room a and room b two pictures are given children what is the what time of the day is it what can you see in your room a and what can you see in room b what time of the day is it children in this picture yes it is night time what can you see in room a yes in room a tube light is on giving light tube light is on it's giving light what can you see in room b yes in room b there is darkness nothing can be seen anything can be seen in room b no nothing can be seen would it be different if the curtain were open in room b no it would be the same we need light to see we need light to see room c and room b observe it yes we need light to see things everybody knows that without light we cannot see we need light to see things room c and room b here yeah. what time of the day is it yes it is afternoon 12:30 it is afternoon 12:30 observe the clock children the time shows 12:30 observing yes it is afternoon why are the lights on in room d it is afternoon where did the sun go yes in room d observe it is 12 noon it is afternoon where did the sun go yes children the sun is behind the clouds it is raining observe in this picture it is raining and no direct sunlight is coming inside the room therefore the lights are on in the room d okay therefore lights are on in the room d we know that yes we know that sun is a only natural source of light we get heat and light from the sun okay we know that the sun gives as heat and light sun is the only natural source of light all other or man made sources or indirect sources of light some observe in this picture all other things sun is only natural light candle crackers bulb fire and battery torch and street light and lamp car light flashlight and the as all are this one indirect source of light these are the indirect sources of light some of these use fuel such as coal gas oil and wood some of these are use electricity see some of them use electricity like bulb okay and street light these are the electricity and such as coal some of them have burned with coal and some of them with burn with wood and some of them burn with oil and some of them burn with gases okay so some of these use use electricity moonlight is reflected light we see the moon because it reflects the light of the sun okay man made or indirect sources of light these are the man made or indirect sources of light sun is only natural light all these are 
man made or indirect sources of light coal coal means ijilo antiralva that is coal some of these useful moonlight is reflected light we use we see the moon because of it reflects the light of the sun objects that produce light are called luminous objects objects that do not produce light are called non luminous objects we can see non luminous objects only when light falls on them yes children we can see non luminous objects only when light falls on them only okay how will you make these objects luminous yes this is ignited and electricity and tube uh, tube light also it electricity it is ignited and battery cell torch also using it gives us light using battery cell this is a lighthouse what is it used for yes children it is a lighthouse the, their eyes have their eyes have reflex which why do their cats eyes glow in dark why do the their cats eyes glow in dark their eyes have reflex which glows in the dark to keep away enemies to keep away from the enemies these are the electricity and here is car light using gas it will gives light and oil using oil lamp gives light and using wood fire will gives light and electricity objects that produce light are called luminous objects object that produce light are called luminous object for example sun and here is one small observe in this picture children small insect is there it also luminous object and also so many stars are there they will give light these objects are called luminous objects okay these are the luminous objects objects that produce light are called luminous objects objects that do not produce light are called non non luminous objects moon is also non luminous object here is see these are non luminous objects light always travels in straight lines light always travels in straight lines next we will learn shadows you know that a shadow is formed only when an object blocks the path of light light always travels in straight lines light can go in all directions from its surface but it goes in straight lines in all those directions yes light go in straight always travels in straight line lines only here you are lit by lamp also here observe children shadow a shadow is formed only when a, an object blocks the path of light a shadow is always formed on the opposite side of the light source shadow is always formed on the opposite sides of the light source observe in this picture children there is an activity in your textbook mark these in the following pictures source of light yes this is a source of light to straight light is there no that is source of light and which object is blocking light is dark is objecting uh, blocking the light shadow you can see the shadow of the dog okay this is the shadow and next picture observe it uh, sun is a source of light and object blocking the light is girl okay shadow her shadow is you can see the shadow and next picture light bed lamp source of light and object is blocking the chair is the blocking the light and shadow of the chair you can observe on the floor this is the shadow of the chair 
and you can see many shadows using hands a shadow is always formed on the opposite side of the light source okay on the opposite sides of the light source at what time of the day are shadows shortest yes children at noon only at noon only you can see the shortest shadows you can observe the low clock it is very short okay observe in this picture also shadows now we are going to learn sound sad wakes up into the sound of birds every morning there are many trees in the area where he lives yes sad sad is one boy he always wake up wakes up to the sound of the birds every morning there is many tree there are many trees in the area where he lives okay using bird sound only he wakes up early morning okay next ankita wakes up to the sound of traffic every morning there are there is an interstate bus terminus close to her building see ankita wakes up to the sound of traffic every morning sounds refer to anything that can be heard some sounds are there no sounds refers to anything that can be heard while speaking also we can see the sounds and also striking a note on a guitar that time also music sounds also we can hear okay prithvik wakes up to the sound of waves sound of the waves there is the sea is just behind his building prithvik wakes up sound of waves see this is the waves of the ocean okay dropping a stone in water it will become sound dropping means kal esidaga sound baruttala ocean alli that is dropping a sound in water sounds help us to communicate if you are talking one another means that sounds help us to communicate sounds are produced when something vibrates or shakes ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಶೇಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗೆಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೆ ಸೌಂಡು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ವೈಬ್ರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಏರ್ ಶೇಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಏರ್ ಎಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಏರ್ ಶೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ದ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾಕ್ ಕ್ರೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಈ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಏರ್ ಶೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕಾಕ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಕ್ರೋ ಕಾಕ್ ಕ್ರೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಈ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ವಿಲೇಜ್ okay some bees are also buzzing no that time also we can see the hear the sounds okay melo wakes up to the sound of church bells there is a church near her house yes melo wakes up hearing the church bells there is a church near to her house our world is full of different sounds some soft some loud some pleasant some unpleasant soft and pleasant sounds soothe us loud and unpleasant sounds irritate us okay sound refers to anything that can be heard whether it is made by speaking or by striking a note on a guitar or by dropping a stone in a water sounds help us to communicate sounds produced when something vibrates or shakes the vibrates make the shake the vibrations make the shake and the shaking air enters our ears which we hear as a sound when bird flip flaps its wings the air around it moves which we hear her huh? hear as sound when we hear bee buzzing when we hear bee buzzing here a bee buzzing when the bee moves its wings as soon the bee stops its wings buzzing sound yes let us visit the construction site here you see let us visit construction site we all live in a peace and comfort in our homes but did you ever think how noisy the entire process of constructing your house was 
yes observe it children when they are doing making work that time we can hear the sound we all live in a peace and comfort in our homes but if you ever think how noisy the entire process of constructing your house yes loud speakers vehicles on the road vehicles on the road household appliances constructing construction activities see these are the construction while doing construction we can listen the sound see cycle sound and then more vehicles are now that time also we can hear the noise why are these people wearing earmuffs yes during take off an aeroplane very loud noise is created which may damage our ears so they are wearing earmuffs when aeroplane is that time aeroplane is going no take off no that time they are wearing ear that time they are wearing very earmuffs okay so because when loud sound is created no that time they our ears which we can damage so they are wearing earmuffs now i know the sun is our only natural source of light sun is only natural source of light we can see things when light falls on them light always travels in straight lines light always travels in straight lines light always travels in straight lines objects that produce light are called luminous objects objects that produce light are called luminous objects these are the objects that will produce own light these are the luminous object remember this point children yes a shadow is always formed on the opposite side of the light source okay shadow is always formed on the opposite sides of the light source noise is sound that is loud or unpleasant or that causes disturbances see these loud speakers and household appliances vehicles on the road construction activities these are the very loud sound sounds can be it can be soft loud pleasant or unpleasant sounds are produced when something vibrates or shakes i hope everybody understood this lesson children everybody know that sun is our only natural source of light we can see things when light falls on them light always travels in straight lines shadows are formed only when object blocks the path of light sounds are produced when something vibrates or shakes sounds can be soft loud pleasant or unpleasant all this one we learned from this lesson i hope everybody understood this lesson thank you children read well once this lesson